Hey y'all, Crazy Mama Kelly here coming at you from my part of PA. Yes, I'm back. Well, today, I know I haven't did a couple videos in a while about the great big book of everything, and I didn't want to let you guys down. So, here it is. Great big book of everything. And a new story I have to tell you. It is called, I'd like to call this one. Hunka Hunka SHC. Spontaneous Human Combustion. Yes, folks, it seems in PA. Excuse me, I'll put this number down. Seems that PA we have a couple of interesting cases of spontaneous human combustion. Um, which is pretty interesting, to say the least. Um, what this is, is, um, it's saying that there is a couple cases, um, unexplained cases of people just come, um, lighting on fire and they don't understand how or what causes it. Um, the fire chiefs, um, fire, you know, fire experts and analysis and everybody, they tried to figure out, um, what this is all about. Um, so, because what's the odd part about this is, um, Instead of it being a huge fire, you know, in a house, it's usually pretty well contained in one small area. So it's just the area where the person was and everything else around it. Like, I mean, if they're like sitting on a chair or whatever, you know, the chair goes up, of course, but um, everything else is intact. The whole building. And just these people, they get so hot. The body gets so hot. Um, the victims are usually reduced completely almost to ashes. Completely mostly the ashes their body is reduced to. Um so this is pretty interesting. There's um two cases that they talk about in the book. Um and they said that um skeptics the ones are trying to prove this theory, you know, that it's possible that you can you know, human question, you can just light a flame is they think they might have a new part of, uh, sub, uh, subatomic particle called a uh, pyrotron inside human body. And what happens is it will release, um, sudden bursts of energy within the body and then the body will get, the victims will get hot all of a sudden and then next thing you know, whoosh, light up flames. Which is kind of neat. The so skeptics like to point out that, um, Victims is usually happens to is usually the infirm, um, alcoholics, or smoke, smoking. And you add any three of those combinations together, um, nightmare waiting to happen, you know, fire accident. Um, that's what the skeptics say. But a lot of the um, people that have researched this are skilled firemen and a fire chief, and they've been on the scene and they've seen what happened. Um, the first one happened it's uh happened in the Keystone State. It's on it happened on December fifth, nineteen sixty six in Countersport, PA. Um Don Goslin, he was a uh was a friend to this um elderly retired doctor his name was John Irving Bentley. Um and he went to read his meter, I guess that was his job you know, gas, read his gas meter, and he was allowed to let himself in, he had permission to let himself into the building because his, this elderly doctor's house, because he was, you know, kind of immobile, I mean, he really couldn't get around much, he was old, he was like 92, I think it said, 92 or 93, let me see, my notes. yeah, 92 year old, um, what happened was, he went down into the basement, to read the meter, and when he got down there, he smelled, you know, says he smelled kind of uh, a sweet, smoke, strange, sweet, smoky smell. And uh, he thought nothing of it until he seen the cloud of light blue smoke. And when that happened, he found a pile of ashes laying on the dirt floor. He was kind of like, what's up with this, you know, or whatever, so he went upstairs and went looking around, and, well, he was down there and looked around, and he seen, um, a hole in the ceiling, revealing the ground floor of the bathroom, so he went upstairs to check it out, and when he got into the bathroom, 
Um, he found Dr. Bentley's bedroom was filled with smoke, and in the bathroom, beside a hole measuring about two and a half to four feet burned in the floor, lay the walker of the good doctor. And all that remained of the good doctor was uh, the lower half of his right leg with the foot still intact, wearing a slipper, undamaged. But this happened in the bathroom, and that's kind of wild, you know what I mean? Because if there's fire, usually you think, you know what I mean, oh my god, the whole place is going to burn down, you know what I mean? This happened in the bathroom. And this guy... They don't know exactly what happened, but this guy was um, also a volunteer fireman, so he was kind of freaked out about it. Um, he just couldn't believe it. Um, he was thinking that maybe when the he was thinking that Bent Mister, I guess Doctor Bentley, he was smoking a pipe. He did not smoke a pipe, but the whole point about that was his pipe was laying on the bed stand. So he was thinking, well, maybe what Mister Bentley did was he, you know. He's like smoking his pipe in bed, and he knows, you know, a couple ashes or whatever fell out of the pipe onto his clothing, so he went to the bathroom with his walker, tried to put it out, and he couldn't put it out. And then he decided to move the walker aside and do the stop, drop, and roll, because, you know, your clothes are on fire, that's what you're supposed to do, um, and it didn't work. So, but, um, it was... It's just weird. I mean, you'd have to read the book. There's, I don't know. There is definitely some grotesque pictures in here of it. I mean, it's not too bloody or whatever, but it's black and white photos of what happened. I mean, it was the 60s. Um, I don't know if you see that. That's part of Dr. Bentley. And then there was another case. Um, that happened in... Um, this happened in November of 1964, and his name was Helen Conaway, and it happened up in Upper Darby Township, and, um, they thought, at first they thought that this was impossible because she was known to be a smoker, um, they thought maybe, you know, she just had an accident with, uh, you know, a book of matches or whatever, you know, keep them in her purse, and she always had, was careless with the way she took care of her cigarettes, whether she was a smoker. Um, but fire chief um, named Paul Haggerty, he went on he went on record saying that he was pretty sure he was a present scene of the situation. He's pretty sure it was spontaneous human combustion. Also, um, here's a picture of her. Yeah, all that left was left of her was her leg. And supposedly she was sitting in a chair when this happened. Um, and there's actually, and the BBC actually did a, a, a the uh, British Broadcasting Cooperation. Everybody knows what BBC is, I'm sure. Um, they did actually a, a film documentary on this. So I guess it's been known to happen other places around the world. I even think Myth, Mythbusters did an episode about this. Um, I don't know, you might have to check it out. Um, also, and I wanted to talk about, there's, if you want to read more about this story, um, about, you know, uh, spontaneous human combustion, there is a, uh, one of our named Pennsylvanians, he wrote a book about it. His name is, um, Larry E. Arnold, and he, the book is called, um, a blaze in the series fires of spontaneous human combustion. Um, if you want me to, I'll put that down below if I remember to. Um, and there's one more thing that the Great Book for Everything talks about, and that is um, in St. Petersburg, Florida, there's another case. There's 67 year old widow Mary Hardy Reese, or, and the only reason why I bring this up is it happened on July 1st and 2nd of 1951. Like I said, the only reason why I brought this up is because she was buried in Pennsylvania. She was buried in Chestnut Hill Cemetery in Mechanicsburg, PA. Alright, well, talk about craziness, huh? So, 
what I'm going to say to all my fellow Pennsylvanians out there and everybody who's watching, don't smoke in bed. It's not a very good idea. And be careful about where you put your cigarettes out. You know, unless God be willing that you uh, have that pyrotron, the atom inside of you, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, I just think it was just a couple cases of unexplained fires. That's kind of odd and crazy and weird. I'm not a fireman, but you just shouldn't say that. All right, well, um, that is all I have to say. I mean, I might say a couple more things, actually. Um, I know I said I was going to get music on my videos pretty soon. Well, my friend is kind of pussy putting around. He's been busy, man. Um, he's a really talented artist. I, I will get the music on there, hopefully, soon. Um, and while I'm at it speaking about my friend, um, he knows my interest in the paranormal. And he also get, brought me this magazine. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it. Um, it's not about PA, but it's called Fate Magazine. And it's a magazine, and it has all sorts of paranormal experiences. It's pretty neat. It's pretty, I've read it. Pretty interesting book. I'm um, also, I was talking about doing a giveaway. I think I'm going to do that pretty soon. Um, I'm coming up with the rules and everything as we speak. Um, what I want to do. I think what I'm going to do is instead of having like a lot of giveaways if you want, instead of having you guys just go and like my page or whatever else. That's terrific. You can do that if you want on Facebook. I have no qualms about that. Go ahead and like me if you want to, folks. But um, I think what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to challenge you. Um, I'm going to make this giveaway pretty good. I'm, I make candles for a living. Oh, well, I used to. And I think what I'll do is I'll make a bunch of candles up and whatever else I feel necessary to put in the giveaway or whatever. Whatever I come up with my craziness. Um... But I think what I'm going to have you all do is I want you to go out there and find me something paranormal. Yes, that is your challenge, folks. You need to go out there and you need to find me something paranormal. And I want documented proof. Um, I would like some videos. Do video responses. Send me um, some paranormal things that you know of, a story. But documented proof would be great. Like a video made on it. If you can find sectors, ghosts, whatever, um, go ahead and do that. Also, I'll put I'll say more about the rules and stuff later. But what I want is I want to make sure you guys have permission to go there before you go. Um, yeah, go out there, get weird, find me some weird stuff. Um, and after I get so many views or whatever, um, I'll have a drawing. Um, the one I best like the most and and that will be the winner. And I might have a couple runners up. But that's what I want you to do. I want you to get weird. Get funky. Find me some paranormal stuff out there. I know you can do it. Truth is out there. You just got to find it. Woo. Like they say. But that was my episode of um, Wild and Crazy PA. Um, weird Pennsylvania from the Great Big Book of Everything. So um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, like me if you want. Subscribe if you want, any comments or anything, say it down below. And thanks for watching, guys. Blessed be. Peace.